Thanks for the warm welcome, guys. So I'm really thrilled to be here at DevConf Bano with you all today. So we've travelled all the way from India to be here, and uh, we both are technical writers in Red Hat. Uh, I've been a technical writer for the past seven years, and uh, besides being a technical writer, I'm actually a big history buff. I like to travel to historical sites and uh, you know ima imagine myself in those eras so you could understand how flabbergasted i must be with czech republic it's beautiful by the way and uh, you if i'm not doing that i'm actually you know having fun with as many dogs as possible <laughs> so uh, i'll hand it over to kalyan hello folks hi nice to meet you so i am kalyan desai i joined red hat as an intern and i started my technical writing journey from red hat so as you can see i am a big fan of trying new types of serials as play and my favorite ones are fruit loops and yes that's my advice to you i tried some tr strawberry shampoo it does not taste as it smells so it is the worst thing so yes and we are so excited to share our insights with you yes now shreya can take Thank you, Kalyani. So I hope you find this session insightful and enjoyable. Uh, let's dive in and have some fun. So this is what we'll learn today. Uh, we are going to de debunk some misconceptions around technical writing. And before we dive deeper into the world uh, of technical writing, I want to address some common misconceptions that people have with our field. For example, you know. I'm sitting in a dinner table with my family, and uh, this is the question. So, what do you do? I say I'm a technical writer, and uh, you know, there's someone always answering this question for me already. That okay, you write user manuals, right? So, yeah, that's that's just the preconceived notion that everyone has of technical writer that they write only user manuals. and these are some other uh, answers that i have written over written over here so it's like it's just about writing manuals you don't need technical knowledge uh, it does not need creativity looks don't matter in docs and no one reads technical documentation by the way all that's not correct first off technical writing isn't just about putting together manuals or documentation Uh, we engage in user research we have to understand our audience design information architecture and to organize content logically and conduct usability testing as well to ensure materials are user friendly and manage content to keep everything up to date so you know uh, people say that content is king i would actually say that user is my king as the technical writer because everything you write should be actually you know uh, should answer to the user's needs and uh, technical writing also requires solid understanding of technology by the way and it's not just about writing clearly it's also also about you know knowing the technical details and uh, being able to explain them in such a way that it makes sense to the user and moreover it also requires original thinking by the way and we are not just transcribing information here uh, we are actually creating helpful and engaging experience for the users and well looks do matter in docs and a well organized and visually appealing document help users to quickly understand right so for example how many of you have purchased uh, anything from ikea you look at a manual right and you just get it right away but just imagine you know just reading a manual and a content out of it it gets boring right and also you have to dive into it to find the information that you actually need you might not need the initial steps but you might need to you might need uh, maybe something further so i think ikea i love ikea manuals by the way and i'm a big fan of ikea furniture as well so uh moving on uh lastly our work is incredibly impactful good technical writers help users identify and solve problems efficiently and it's about empowering people with the knowledge they need and 
this is a example that I used here to just show what we actually do. Uh, we, I actually think of us as hybrids. You have to com communicate with the SMEs, you have to communicate with your documentation team and you know, put it all together to make sense of it. And also, uh, I think of ourselves as a fairy without uh, wings who make life easier for people. Okay. Moving on to the evolving role of technical writers. Uh, this is just a timeline that I created over here. So uh, you see uh, technical writing is important. It's important to recognize how much this profession has changed over the years. So I'm not going to bore with you bore you with the facts that you know we did this in the stone age we used to uh, you know uh, carve on tablets and do that but I would like to just say that with the rise of computers and aeronautics there was a rise in technical writing and it wasn't a recognized profession un until 1980. So gone are, the or are those days when technical writing was solely about creating manuals and products, product guides and we have to wear many hats and play crucial role in various aspects of product development and user experience. Uh, we are now involved in user research to understand our audience better. Uh, we work on information, information architecture, uh, usability testing. We also manage and update content continuously. And it's our job to you know, make it up to date and as relevant as possible. Beyond these tasks, tasks a modern tech writer uh, you know, closely collaborates with a, a huge team, I would say. Uh, we have to uh, collaborate with uh, developers, designers, product managers, and uh, again, wear many hats, as I said. And uh, of course, right now, as in the modern context, I think AI has a big role to play, right? And everyone has this question that, okay, is AI gonna take our jobs? Uh, because, you know, you can just write content and it'll be there. As in my experience, I have been using AI as my aid. It's not going to do your job, I would say. Uh, you're not just, just going to tell AI to write a product documentation for you, and you cannot tell how accurate is it's going to be. So uh, I don't think AI will take your jobs right now. But yes, you just need to know how to use it to your aid. I'll give you an example. So while uh, I'm writing bug fixes, we have to follow a documentation pattern that should go in our guides. So uh, I just use AI to you know, replicate that pattern and just draft it for me. So you know, it makes my job easier as well. Again, moving forward. These are the modern responsibilities of a technical writer. Uh, user research and analysis. So you have to, I'm saying user again and again, I know, but as I told you, user is the king for me, more than content. My content derives from users. So, you know, you have to understand their preferences, their pain points. Uh, you should know your tar target audience. You have to gather feedback and conduct usability testing and analyze your data accordingly. So uh, there's information architecture and content structuring. You have to design and organize information in a logical and user-friendly manner. You have to uh, help users understand in uh, the information that they need. You know, they should be able to find it in your docs that, OK, this is the information that I need. Click, click, and I'm here. That's your job as a tech writer, by the way. And uh, there's content development and management. You have to develop high quality, include high quality content, including manuals, guides, tutorials, FAQs, online helps, knowledge base articles. You have to manage and update it from time to time. You have to collaborate with the cross-functional team. You have to adapt, adopt to new technologies. You have to stay current with emerging tools. Uh, uh, you have to, you you know, uh, explore, innovate, and innovate in approaches like AI for content generation and automation. Again, uh, 
you know this is a very modern problem for me that i face uh so uh you know i just i just keep on thinking okay should i use chat gpt for this is it going to be accurate or not so you have to you you you'll feel it when you are a technical writer i'm sorry so these are some tools that i think will help you once uh, uh you are uh, you are working as a tech writer and uh, there are various tools like uh, used for software development and tools that technical uh, writers use to create to manage and to deliver documentation these tools help in different aspects of technical writing and uh, from drafting and editing to publishing to maintaining documents and uh, you know as you progress through your career you're going to be ev evolving right uh, and you're going to be taking up new roles and at some point of time you will be using these tools and to to your aid and you can also choose to become a specialist so for example in my team at red hat we actually have the freedom to you know be a graphic expert maybe a release note expert um publishing expert so you have the freedom to choose that way and also uh, you actually can decide where you where you are going to progress through so it's not just that you're going to be become people's manager after you you know after a certain point of time so you can actually be a doc program manager you can also be a content strategist by the way i'm i'm really focused on being a content strategist myself i i love it i love the job so uh these are the tools here and uh, i'll just now hand it over to kalyani for the second part of the presentation so am i audible yes so i'll just you know quickly uh, go through with you know i have categorized few of the key points which will help us you know how do we prepare ourselves for the future so the emerging trends so yes ai tools for content writing yes we do use the help of ai like chat gpt 3.5 chat gpt 4 any anything we can get help from the ai you know to ease the some of our clerical works and uh, we can actually collaborate with ui ux teams you know we can actually suggest them to what should be the button uh, uh, what should be the name of that click button or what should be the name of that prompt window then content strategy evaluation so while creating the content plan we can actually create it you keeping the user centric approach the next one is like the key skills so technical proficiency we all are right now just shreya uh, shared with in the previous slides we have to you know keep ourselves uh, familiarized with markup languages as well as the version control systems then improving research and user user ability and uh, then we can actually do the usability testing as well and yes soft skills are also important in technical writings for example communication is the main key and we have to you know uh see the adaptability adapt adaptability nature as well and then continuous learning we do have like some of the courses on udemy coursera linkedin learning we can take uh the certifications from that as well and then we can also join the professional communities like write the docs or stcs we have some virtual communities as well and we can also stay updated with uh, the industrial blogs or social media now we all are aware with how to you know in contribute ourselves in the open source but i let you know how we can get involved from the technical writing pro perspective like how can we so yes why technical writers important in open source so so according to the so this particular bar chart it was a survey conducted by github in 2017 we can see the problematic area which is like incomplete and confusing documentations so this means people uh, decide not to use open source contribution project or contribute to it uh, with the lack of documentation so technical writers can you know 
uh, assemble or on board to become an active member and they can actually take the ownership of it and maintain the documents. So we have a common tendency is like humans can't use uh, what they don't understand. So it's our responsibility to, you know, maintain and contribute to the documentation. So it is easier than it looks. I'll, these are simple steps. So choo choosing a project. So you can just quickly search and go to GitHub and search for the open source project according to your skills and your interest. Yes, understanding contribution guidelines. We have to take care of this because some of the projects may have a typical style or standards. So just to maintain the consistency of the docs, we can actually contribute, you know, uh, creating uh, guides or style guides as well. Then starting with small tasks, if if it is like if it is your first time, you can actually start with the smaller ones, like you know, fixing a typos or correcting a grammatical mistakes and finding contribution. So what I usually do is uh, I go with the label as beginner friendly or uh, it's your I will just simply tell you the actual name. Good first issues. So these are like typically designed for newcomers to gain the experience of how we actually maintain the documentations in open source and yes, setting up your local development which, which requires like, you know, installing the required tools like Git and te text editor which, which you are comfortable with and then you can actually clone the project repository and create a pull request and wait uh, it to be approved by project maintenance. So this one, why technical writers loves open source. So yes, we can improve our skills by contributing to different uh, open source projects which exposes you to, you know, different writing styles and documentation needs. Then we can actually build our portfolio. So open source contribution is one of the ways you can actually showcase your work and ability to work on the real world projects. So by contributing to it, it shows that you have actually worked on uh, the projects or the products that people are actually using. Then finding opportunities for the paid open source programs. You must have heard about uh, the Google season of docs and the outreach internships. So these programs, you know, allows you to work with organizations by contributing to their documents and this will help you to improve your skills and as well as you get paid in return. So this is one of the things I usually do. You can get recommendations and referrals. So when you are applying for a job and you, you can always have a good uh, re letter of recommendations from uh, the maintainers or the project maintainers then visibility and you can expand your networks. So for example, uh, programs like uh, GitHub Star Awards or Microsoft MVP Awards uh, highlight and celebrates uh, the celebrate individuals, you know, contribution to the developer and the tech communities and you can always expand your work. So such type of communities are filled with uh, programmers, technical writers and other professionals. So it will allow it allows you to connect with the people who share same interest. So yes, so these are like uh, some of the projects I use uh, personally to contribute into open source projects and these are the platforms I have you know sorted out few of them to uh, for, for getting started. So yes, and uh, open source is for everyone. And yes, we are technical writers because full-time multitasking ninja is not an actual job role. So yes, the, f the floor is now open for the questions. <laughs> I really hope you like our presentation. Please feel free to ask okay. any questions. Thank you. So we do, uh, 
so for accessibility one we are currently working for it in red hat so for that we have voice uh, recognition or voice for it and you have mentioned for the blind one so we are currently working for it but uh, currently all of our red hat websites are uh, accessibility or color color blindness friendly the colors which we use for it so yes we are ac we are definitely working on it so by end of this quarter we'll have a much more stronger uh, thing for the blind yes 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 so we have uh, so basically if for the initial phase we write all of our documents uh, okay so so, so basically we uh, for you know for writing the documentation we write all of the documents in english initially and then we can we do have a separate translation team and for that we have four languages to translate so but initially we write it in the english one do you have anything to add uh yes so it's initially written in english and i would like to say that in red hat we are actually a diverse team we are all around the world so you will get people with you know that language over there so we have a diverse team and so that's how we do it Sorry, can you repeat it? So, a good practice would be to like know your users from time to time and develop that way. So you have to evolve as a technical writer. things might not work in the beginning if you have an initial documentation and then you take user feedback and implement it accordingly so that's how you grow uh, i'm was i able to answer your question yes thank you let kalyani take this because kalyani is actually working on a course uh, to design technical writing co writing courses for uh, bono universities so first of all we we train how to become a technical writers or how a technical or a day to day life of technical writers so yes we do uh, teach like soft skills interpersonal skills that that is for starters and then later on we increase our le uh, levels uh, to get familiarized with the version control system as well as the coding how to use the text editors and how to use git and how to create a merge request and simply how to publish the docs so yes we focus on the information as well like um, the grammatical ones as well how to write a procedure module how to write a concept module how to in include the information related to the additional resources so yes i hope i have answered your question yeah